Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be the next 48 for the sign of Aries coming in for Thursday and Friday, the 10th and the 11th. I hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what the energies are coming in for the sign of Aries. Angels and spirit guides, energies surrounding Aries, and what do they need to see? Energies for Aries. Energies for Aries. The six of Spring, which is the energy of Six of Wands, the victory. Wonderful news is on its way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. Fire energy. And this is about winning. It's about victories, doing well, being recognized, having accolades. Um, overcoming a difficulty because it comes after the five of wands so winning in a competition some kind of winning some kind of doing well okay so in the cross we have the energy of the devil so i feel like you're overcoming some kind of toxic energy you're overcoming a toxic person, a toxic situation, anything where there was like a lack of freedom or some kind of control. We have an ace of winner, so we have the ace of swords. This is new information. It's new. It could be, let's see. The ace is anything that's new. Ace of swords are about communication, information, air energy has to do with talking to people, receiving some new information. Wow, past energy is a Ten of Swords, the resolution of a difficulty. Ten of Swords is like the energy of ruin or betrayal or it's really tough energy. It's like, it's very mentally stressful um, overcoming this. Crowning energy for Aries. Wow. Seven of Wands. So don't back down. Courageously stand up for yourself. It's the energy of Mars. Seven of Wands. Wow. So we have the Page of Cups. Good news. Um, you know, some kind of emotional good news. A new relationship. A new experience. Compassion. Happy news, water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So it has to do with the way you'll feel, your feelings. You're getting a message that will affect how you feel. And it's very good. Four of Autumn, which is four of Pentacles. Manage resources wisely. Help out those who are less fortunate. Um, four of Pentacles comes from a feeling of fear, where you feel like you'll never have enough. But... So you're holding on or you're saving every penny. Let's see. What's coming in? It's also about refusing to share, not wanting to open up, not wanting to disclose. It's You're keeping things for you. Possibly out of fear, but let's see. What's coming into the environment? Wow. So we have renewal, which is the judgment. So there's a judgment for probably this devil energy. There's a judgment day. So there's some kind of a, a pretty harsh judgment here coming to someone around you. So you're dealing with a page of pentacles. Somebody who is very kind is the energy of Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Somebody who likes to learn. They're very adventurous. They like animals. They like, you know, to go on adventures like camping and hiking. You're hoping for possibly good news about money. And what is the outcome here for Aries for Thursday and Friday? What is the outcome for Thursday, Friday for Aries? 
Wow, look at this. The Ten of Pentacles. Money, wealth, and abundance. Oh, two. Why did I see ten? Two of Pentacles. Juggling. Multitasking. Oh my goodness. For some reason I saw ten. Maybe it's coming. What is coming for Aries? What is Two of Pentacles about? Managing, juggling, multitasking, doing lots of things. It has to do with making ends meet. So what's coming in for Aries? So I've got an Ace of Cups. Open your heart to love. The beginning of a new relationship or rebirth. Psychic abilities. Ace of Water is new happiness, new joy, new peace. Something to do with the way you're going to feel. Happy. So what is this Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups? Angels and spirits. We've got a four of, wa uh, four of Wands. Be grateful. You have much to celebrate. A content personal life. Stability. To me, Four of Wands is about stability. It's about achieving a goal of stability. A happy home. Okay. So Six of Autumn is on the bottom. The good news you do to others comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money. Borrowing wisely. Repaying a debt. Six of Pentacles energy here. Somebody generously giving to you or helping you. Okay, so let's do a couple of clarifying cards. Um, let's see. What is the energy of the Seven of Spring? Standing up for yourself, standing your ground, standing up for your beliefs. In comes the Page of Cups. Good news. There's a harsh judgment in the surrounding environment here. There's a judgment coming in. Not to you. It's coming into the environment. Someone around you. What is the Seven of Wands? What is the Seven of Wands for Aries? What is Seven of Wands? Two of Swords. Okay, standing your ground. Confusion. A lack of clarity. Hermit and a star. So trying to let go of something, trying to release and heal, and spending time alone, turning inward, doing the inner work. Here we have a page of cups again. What is this ace of winter about? What is this ace of winter about? What is the ace of winter? The world card, completed cycle, an ending, or some great success, achieving great success. The world is about success. And we have an ace of fire, something exciting. Um, what is this page of cups energy? What is this page of cups? What is this page of cups? Nine of pentacles. Somebody who's very self-sufficient, independent. What is the four of pentacles? Okay, so fear, having fear, worrying about funds, worrying about resources. What is the outcome here going to be? Wow. I got an ace of cups, a new beginning, um, a new potential for peace came out with the devil somebody here with the ten of wands is really causing you a lot of it's a lot of burden because of either they're very toxic or controlling um, what is this ace of cups emperor power authority could be a father figure could be a boss could be um, promotion Knight of Pentacles and Seven of Pentacles. Earth sign energy that's sort of waiting. Okay, so what is the energy of the judgment for the environment? K 
King of Cups. Somebody who has a lot of love to give, but um, somebody could be feeling quite emotional. Queen of Wands energy here. Aries standing pretty tall. So we have here a King of Cups and then a Judgment. So we have someone coming towards you, Aries. Um, but there's a judgment. You're, there's something about judging this situation. What is the Nine of Pentacles? Wow. There's a judgment against someone here who is acting very immature. Page of Swords is immature energy. Challenging energy. So there's an Ace of Cups with the Emperor. What is this Ace of Cups about? Why are we getting Ace of Cups with the Emperor? Why are we getting Ace of Cups? Wow. So we have this Page of Swords again. What is this Ace of Cups? Could be somebody who's watching you. Page of Wands. Good news. Star card. You're trying to heal and put something behind you. Knight of Cups, somebody's coming towards you with an offer of love or friendship. Love, showing, expressing their feelings. What is the Knight of Cups? Empress. The energy of a mother, Venus, love, expressing their love to you. Okay, so what do we have here for the, um, Let's see. So you're getting some new information. Somebody is coming toward you. However, this person, you may not, you may be very apprehensive. You may be judging them. They do, they are opening their heart to you. Wow, Ten of Swords in the past. This person, it could be the ending of a hard time, but it was definitely really hard, like a betrayal. What's the Emperor energy right here? Two of Cups. There's love between two people, but then we have the Fool, a new beginning, breaking free with the Magician. Breaking free from manipulation. There could be someone who's kind of manipulative. <sighs> okay, well, I'm going to leave it there. The Four of Wands was the outcome. Stability comes in to your situation. So let's see what comes in for Aries. For the next 48, what comes in for Aries? What comes in for Aries? Protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking on spiritual work. The inner child. Take time to embrace your inner, inner child. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. Motivation. The fairies urge you to spring into action. If you've been thinking about doing something, get busy and start doing it. Get motivated. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for you, Aries. This is your next 48 till Friday. It looks really good. It looks like basically you're going to be getting some news of a victory. But I feel like you're going to be really apprehensive. You're going to still be very cautious. Um, it will be good possibly for you to be cautious because you're going to be maintaining stability. So I'll leave it here for you guys. Thank you very much for watching my channel. Thank you so much and take care.